From stealthy attacks in murky waters to aerial dives and heart-stopping ground chases, each predator in savanna exhibits a unique spectacle of nature's ferocity, hunting strategies that commands a blend of awe and fear, quick, lethal, and vicious. Hang on as we embark on a perilous journey into the thrilling heart of nature's most amazing hunters. These are the hunting phenomena that'll keep you up at night. Crocodile. This hair-raising ballet is known as the death roll, and it's the croc's ultimate technique. Crocs cannot chew, so they deploy this vicious move to break down the animal. Their technique is so powerful that even six fully grown men fail to match its incredible strength. And how crocodiles hunt is just jaw-dropping. A 14 feet long crocodile has set his eyes on his next meal. He spots a family of feral pigs. Crocodiles are ambush predators and rely on stealth and patience. A crocodile may linger motionless for hours with just the nostrils above water, waiting for an unsuspecting prey to come within striking range. Like this pig who is unaware of the danger lurking right below the surface. He stealthily approaches the target as it moves ever so closer. With a startling burst of speed, the crocodile lunges, clamping down with its powerful jaws. The crocodile's hunting technique is a bone-chilling display of nature's raw and unforgiving predatory prowess. African Wild Dogs With a hunting success rate of over 80%, they overshadow the efficiency of lions, and this is how they have managed to do so. This pack of wild dogs are after a herd of wildebeest. The attack begins with a charge to stampede their prey. They go after the weakest. For takedown, they rely on nothing but their sharp teeth, enough to even crush bones. The finale of the hunt is swift. As one catches up, others quickly surround and overwhelm the prey with a ferocity that belies their size. The hierarchy within the pack ensures that pups and the frail feed first, echoing a sense of loyalty amidst the savage survival. Although wild dogs aren't big in size, their bodies are built for stamina and speed, which is why they are better than lions when hunting for prey. Orcas The seal seems to be in a tight spot, and the killer whales are responsible for it. But how exactly did they manage to get the seal from the ice into the water? That is where the genius of the orcas lies. A pod of orcas are on the hunt. They spy hop so they can spot their prey. Once sighted, they signal the family with a call. But since this seal is on such a large piece of ice, the orcas need to change their tactic. Collectively, they move towards the ice, producing a wave that breaks it down into smaller pieces. They push the icy raft into clear water so they can conduct their next strategy. With the seal in the water, they disorient it by blowing bubbles, and the whales move in for the fatal blow. Their hunting activities are not merely about survival, but a display of their intelligence and the crucial communication between pod members. Komodo Dragon How do you take down an animal that is 1,500 pounds heavier than you? Well, that is the specialty of the Komodo dragons. Rough, gray-tinted, armored skin conceals a muscled body capable of startling bursts of speed and agility. To take down a creature as robust as the water buffalo, Komodo dragons employ a lethal concoction of strength and a venomous bite. Komodos have 60 serrated teeth that inflict a gaping wound. By pressing down, they release the toxin into the buffalo's flesh. As the venom starts to take effect, the wounded prey seeks a water body to counter the burning sensation of the venomous bite. Now, the waiting game begins. Komodo's patience outweighs the endurance of the buffalo. With a tongue that can sense food from four kilometers away, they gather around fallen prey. The biggest one takes the first bite. 
A juvenile dragon tries to intervene, but Komodos are cannibalistic, so it retreats. The biggest one swallows an entire leg in one go. Their eating habits show why they are so big and fearsome. Great White Shark When they hunt, it finishes just as quickly as it begins. But why is that exactly? The big bad of the oceans are one of the strongest animals in the kingdom. If there is any animal that perfectly embodies the vicious power of nature, it is the great white. With serrated teeth, their hunting practices are a terrifying display of their true strength. The shark senses its prey through its smell and the ability to detect the electromagnetic fields. It spots a seal, and now the hunt begins. Great White's back helps camouflage it as it remains low and inches closer to the seal. It spots a lone one and moves in. But it's not the seal that worries the shark. Other sharks may try to steal its prey, so it deploys a new strategy to bite and eat the seal as fast as possible. Cheetah as the sun casts long shadows, the cheetah sets its sight on the agile gazelle. The hunt is a delicate art, a game of survival, dictated by a fusion of stealth, speed, and precision. Then, in a heart-stopping burst, the cheetah accelerates, its body a blur of spotted fur against the savanna's palate. Reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour within mere seconds, the chase is a breathtaking spectacle of nature's engineering. The cheetah's razor-sharp claws grip the earth as it propels forward, while its long, muscular tail acts as a rudder for precise maneuvering amidst the high-speed chase. As the distance narrows, a final lunge ends in a takedown, the cheetah's strong jaws clamping down on the gazelle's throat, a tactic employed to suffocate the prey swiftly. The hunt, although brief, is a masterful display of the cheetah's athletic prowess. Its streamlined physique is a masterpiece of evolution. It's a creature born of the sun-kissed savannas, seamlessly blending into the landscape with its golden coat embroidered with a mesh of black spots. Tiger Shark Known for their formidable size and fearsome appearance, Tiger sharks employ a blend of stealth and brute force. They stalk their prey silently, often catching them off guard with a sudden, powerful thrust. Their serrated, razor-sharp teeth are their weapons of choice, designed to tear through flesh and bone effortlessly, are often found in the temperate and tropical waters around the central Pacific Islands. They possess an almost indiscriminate palate, earning them the moniker of the wastebaskets of the sea. They prey on a variety of marine life, including fish, seals, birds, and even smaller sharks. The terrifying efficacy with which the tiger sharks hunt, coupled with their insatiable appetite, makes every ripple in their domain a potential harbinger of the abyss. Golden Eagle They are so good at what they do that humans use them for hunting. When it comes to the game of survival, the Golden Eagles are formidable hunters, exhibiting sheer prowess and precision. Their primary quarry includes rabbits, hares, and marmots. But they've been known to take down larger prey, like foxes, young deer, and even goats. The technique of the Golden Eagle is a blend of patience, precision, and power. They often soar at lofty heights, their keen eyes surveying the grounds below for any movement. Upon spotting their prey, they fold their wings, plunging down at speeds up to 150 miles per hour to snatch the unsuspecting victim using their powerful talon-clad feet. Golden eagles are the noble knights of the sky, soaring through the air as symbols of aerial might. Wolves. This wolf pack is 25 in number, meaning what they are about to hunt is large and formidable. They are after a bison, but there is a twist waiting to happen in this tale of nature versus nature. The bison will quickly move through the trees. They are in danger here. 
Wolves seem to have missed their chance as their prey are now in the open, grouped together. But don't count the wolves out just yet. They begin by circling the herd in an attempt to split it up, to thin the herd and move in for the strike. But the bison are no easy game. After moving in from the rear of the herd, the bison panic and start to flee. One of the bison falls behind, and its only chance of survival is to reunite with the herd. A stroke of luck for the wolves. It will last the pack for several days. The hunt is a meticulous craft of strategy and teamwork. Wolves operate in well-structured packs, each member enacting a defined role in the dangerous theater. Goliath Bird Eater This gargantuan arachnid with a leg span that can reach up to a foot is like no spider you have ever seen before. This terror of the rainforest floor makes its dwelling amidst the fallen leaves and loose soil, crafting burrows to lie in wait for unsuspecting prey. Despite its name, it rarely hunts birds, but primarily eats frogs, insects, and rodents. And unlike other spiders, it does not rely on a web to catch its prey. Believe it or not, the Goliath spider is a stealth hunter. Blending in with the fallen leaves, its body blends seamlessly with the dark earth, serving as a cloak of invisibility. The hair on its legs picks up vibrations made by creatures, and once they are close to it, it lunges at its prey. Almost an inch long fangs go through the flesh and inject a neurotoxin venom. The prey immobilizes in a single bite, and the spider begins its feast. Pistol Shrimp The irony of its existence lies in its size, a mere one to two inches in length, juxtaposed against its notorious reputation as the ocean's sniper. The Pistol Shrimp is a master of camouflage, melding seamlessly with the vibrant underwater landscapes it calls home. Its vibrant, often colorful appearance might deceive the innocent eye, diverting attention from its fatal appendage. It preys on other shrimp and waits patiently for it to come in range. A specialized claw that functions much like a firearm is cocked. When snapped shut, it releases a bullet of bubbles, traveling at an astounding speed of 62 miles per hour. The shockwave produced is enough to stun and sometimes completely neutralize its prey. The resulting snap also generates a sound reaching 210 decibels, enough to overshadow the roar of a gunshot. The fastest draw in the ocean takes another victim. Anaconda Do not be fooled by their massive size, as anacondas are ambush predators. Their hunting techniques are nothing short of grim, yet insanely effective and you're about to witness it as a giant anaconda is slithering towards its next meal. Capera's diet consists of aquatic life, so they spend a lot of time near water, a prime hunting ground for this green anaconda. It elevates its head to measure the distance and then sneaks underwater, out of sight of its prey. The snake waits for the perfect opportunity and then strikes at unimaginable speeds. Its teeth latch onto the animal as it begins to coil around the prey. Anacondas are constrictors. They restrict blood flow of the prey, leading towards cardiac arrest. With stretchy ligaments in its jaw and a protruding windpipe, it devours the large capera. Their massive muscular bodies allow them a silent yet unstoppable movement through water. A meal this size will last the anaconda for months, but eventually it will be on the prowl to hunt again. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. African Lion The pride is on the hunt, and they have a strategy, much similar to what you see in sports. Lions hunt all sorts of animals, primarily antelopes, zebras, and buffaloes. In this case, it's the latter. Two lioness will flank the prey, coming at it from the sides to cause interference and separate it from the herd, while the center lion goes for the takedown. 
the entire pride except the cubs take part in the hunt, with the lioness responsible for surrounding the buffalo. Their aim is to tire the prey out so that it's impossible for it to make an escape. But the Cape buffaloes are not an easy catch. They are responsible for wounding lions more than any other animal on the planet. To bring down a prey of this size requires one of the big males. As the lioness distracts the buffalo, the lion brings it down. They clamp down on its throat or mouth and nose, making the escape impossible and swift. Polar Bear The bear is so meticulous in her stealthy approach that the seal fails to notice her right behind it. She launches herself onto the icy platform as the seal tries to make its escape. The seals are their primary source of food, and they hunt them by patiently stalking their quarry. She catches the seal's scent from a mile away and starts approaching it carefully. The water's stillness overwhelms the Arctic atmosphere right before the bear emerges. Did she miss her meal? No. Remarkably, she managed to capture the seal underwater. This hunt alone will provide the polar bear with enough calories to last a week. These colossal creatures are a marvel of adaptation to life in the cold wilderness. Their fur serves as both a cloak of camouflage and a layer of insulation against the bone-chilling cold. Electric Eel No one can evade the eels' amazing electrovision and certainly not this fish. An enigma of the murky waters of the Amazon, with its serpentine-like form, it can reach up to 13 feet in length. Despite being named an eel, this creature actually belongs to the knifefish family, a detail that further veils its mystery. What sets the electric eel apart is its ability to generate electrical charges, a trait evolved to perfection and unlike any other animal. It relies on stealth and uses sensory pits on its skin to detect movement. With the fish in range, the eel prepares to unleash its attack a lethal electroshock of 500 volts, enough to stun even an adult human. It instantly stuns the fish, and the eel swallows its prey whole. Heron If you think fishing with bait was our invention, you're wrong. This tall, elegant bird with its long legs, sharp beak, and tranquil demeanor is more than just a graceful presence. It's a clever, opportunistic hunter. They are solitary hunters, often seen standing still as statues in shallow waters, patiently awaiting their prey. Some herons have been observed using bait to lure their prey, a rare manifestation of tool use among birds. They will drop small objects, insects, or even breadcrumbs on the water's surface. The ripples attract fish or other aquatic prey, like this green heron. But if the prey is too big for the heron, it will remove the bait from the water. It's a testament to their ingenuity. Once a small-sized fish approaches, it uses its lightning-fast beak strike to catch the prey. This ingenious use of bait, coupled with their patient demeanor, makes herons a unique spectacle of intelligent predation. Alligator Snapping Turtle they exhibit a unique method of hunting that's as cunning as it is effective. Inside their massive jaws lies a vermiform, or worm-shaped appendage, on the turtle's tongue, which serves as a deceptive lure. In a ghastly display of patience and deception, the alligator snapping turtle holds its jaws wide open, remaining motionless as it wiggles the pinkish lure to mimic a wriggling worm. The performance is convincing. Soon enough, a curious fish ventures too close, tempted by the promise of an easy meal. In a flash that disrupts the stillness of the water, the turtle's jaws snap shut, consuming its prey with incredible power. These ambushed predators have a near-perfect disguise, with their rough, algae-covered shells blending seamlessly into the underwater rocky or muddy terrains. It is a fascinating display of deception and success, and this turtle embodies it flawlessly. Diving Bell Spider In the calm freshwater ponds lies a predator that may seem out of place, 
a creature that defies the boundaries of its other kinds. The diving bell spider, with its silvery appearance owed to a layer of air clung to its body, depicts a specter of surreal beauty. It's the air bubble that surrounds them underwater, resembling a diving bell that grants them their name and distinctive aquatic lifestyle. Their diet consists of insects, small crustaceans, or even tadpoles. Once within reach, the spider lunges with startling speed, ensnaring its prey within its inescapable embrace. In a struggle that soon turns futile, the prey succumbs to the spider's venomous bite. Its hunting technique is further bolstered by its ability to detect even the slightest of movements in the water. And as it feeds, its diving bell becomes both a dining room and a chamber of doom for the prey. Piranha Although they have a compact body measuring up to 14 inches, it's the piranha's fierce nature and insatiable hunger that have carved its notorious reputation. These aquatic predators are adapted to a life of opportunistic hunting. With a blunt, robust head and a jaw equipped with a set of razor-sharp interlocking teeth, piranhas are finely tuned, devouring machines. They are primarily scavengers, preying on the sick or the deceased. But when the opportunity arises, they switch to a mode of predatory hunting. When they hunt, piranhas employ a tactic of teamwork. They encircle their prey, often a smaller fish or a wounded animal, and take turns biting off flesh with surgical precision, their teeth shearing through meat and bone alike. Piranhas are not as merciless as the movies have made them out to be. Jeremy Wade displayed that when he sat inside a pool filled with hungry piranhas. They completely ignored him, even though he gave them a piece of fresh meat. There we go, it's the first nibble, the first nibble, the first nibble. And now they are, they're all piling in. Sidewinder. It's the fastest snake on the planet, reaching speeds up to 18 miles per hour. But rather astonishingly, it doesn't use that incredible pace to catch its prey. And what's on the menu for the snake? A shovel-snouted lizard. These prey are just too fast for the snake to catch, so it deploys its hunting strategy. The sidewinder, employing its exemplary ambush tactics, uses the sand as its cloak, burying itself and lying in wait, with only its eyes and a portion of its head exposed. The ambush could last for hours before the quarry is near. It finds a place that has some shade, as lizards usually go there to escape the harsh temperature of the desert. The adder waits underneath the sand as a lizard is also on the hunt for a bug. A grave mistake. With speed faster than you can blink, the snake fangs inject the prey with potent venom. A perfect catch! As for its name, sidewinding helps the snake move quickly across the sand, but also helps in regulating body temperature. Sailfish The hunting prowess of the sailfish is nothing short of mesmerizing. The choreography starts as a school of sailfish identifies a school of prey, often sardines or anchovies. With a swift closure of their colossal dorsal fins, reducing drag, they charge. The primary weapon of choice is their bill, a slender, elongated snout that is used with brutal efficiency. Amidst the chaos of fleeing fish, they strike with their bills, impaling or stunning their chosen targets before circling back to consume them. Growing up to 11 feet in length and inhabiting a world where agility means survival, the sailfish is celebrated as the fastest fish in the ocean. Capable of astonishing speeds up to 68 miles per hour, its sleek body is primarily colored dark blue on top, white underbelly with a characteristic bill-like snout. Each jab of the bill, each swift turn is a testimony to the unforgiving yet exhilarating life beneath the waves. Distinguished by its towering dorsal fin and slender streamlined body, it is an epitome of grace and lethal precision. Box Jellyfish With its bell up to a foot in diameter and tentacles extending up to 10 feet, it seems to drift aimlessly, yet it's on a ceaseless hunt. 
Its delicate and translucent bell houses a perilous arsenal of stinging tentacles, capable of delivering a venom so potent it can stun any small fish and invertebrates within seconds. The hunting mechanism of box jellyfish is both simple and effective. As they drift along the currents, their long, curtain-like tentacles trail through the water, each housing a tiny barbed harpoon loaded with venom. When a prey, like a small fish or shrimp, brushes against these tentacles, the harpoons are triggered, piercing the prey and pumping venom into it. The hapless prey is quickly immobilized, and the tentacles then help in transporting the catch to the jellyfish's mouth arms, which ferry the prey to its stomach. While their hunt is largely passive, their venom acts fast, ensuring that once touched, the prey stands little chance of escape. Stonefish Demonstrating one of the fastest and most spectacular predatory strikes in the animal kingdom, the stonefish lies in wait. Buried in the sand, its hunting strategy is patience. It waits for unsuspecting prey, like small fish or shrimps, to wander too close. In a sudden explosive movement, Taking no more than 0.015 seconds, it opens its mouth and sucks in the prey before it has a chance to react. But that is not all in its arsenal. It is the world's most venomous fish. As a mechanism of defense rather than predation, the venom packed in its dorsal fin spines is potent enough to fell a human if not treated promptly. They are as interesting to look at as they are fatal. Its exceptional camouflage and deadly venom make it a master of deceit and surprise in the underwater realm. Its cryptic appearance mingling with the backdrop is its primary arsenal against both prey and predator. Cuttlefish A hunting technique so unique, so utterly bewildering, it makes the fish seem not from our world. Despite their soft-bodied squid-like appearance, these enigmatic creatures are formidable hunters, with hunting strategies that are as captivating as their ever-changing colors. They utilize this unique ability to camouflage seamlessly with their surroundings, lying in ambush for their unsuspecting prey. In this case, it's a large crab. The fish uses this unique ability to hypnotize its prey. But there is another, much bigger predator on the prowl, a shark and it can eat the cuttlefish. It is time for it to disappear. Once the coast is clear, it approaches a new target with the same mesmerizing technique. The shifting colors are successful in hypnotizing the prey, and at the opportune moment, it launches a surprise attack. Sieging the crab using its two elongated feeding tentacles, cuttlefish are a specimen unlike any other. Their hunting technique is hypnotic and breathtaking. It's time for today's open discussion. Often recognized by their haunting laughter-like calls, hyenas are adaptable hunters with the resilience that commands respect. The spotted fur provides a natural camouflage amidst the tall grasses, aiding them in their hunting escapades. While hyenas have been historically branded as mere scavengers, they are in reality skilled hunters capable of taking down prey as formidable as wildebeest and cape buffaloes. They employ a range of hunting strategies, from solitary stalking to coordinated group chases. Hyenas are known for their endurance hunting technique, where they chase prey over long distances till the prey is too exhausted to continue. Their powerful jaws are their primary weapon. When hunting in clans, hyenas display remarkable teamwork. They surround their prey, cutting off escape routes and taking turns to bite and wear down the prey, displaying a chilling efficiency. Thank you very much for joining us on this fantastic journey. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.